Here's what you missed last week's episode. Catherine, a German princess, married Duke Peter, though they clearly despised each other. Catherine's mother was banished from Russia at a council meeting, and Duke Peter was crowned Emperor of Russia, but he refused to take a bath and started crying. And that's what you missed on last week's episode of The Lout and the Splendifer. Did you hear about that awful Ivan? I heard that he recently beat his daughter-in-law for dressing immodestly. The poor girl was pregnant. Well, I am not Not to mention that tacky secret police of his. Quite distasteful. Mm, and not to speak of the scandal with darling Elizabeth. I've heard about that. What do you know? But let us say that the king was quite disturbed when he learned of Elizabeth's indiscretion with that Thomas Seymour character. My lady, Peter is dead. Oh dear, it's so unfortunate. What a sad day. Stay tuned for more Lout in the Splendiferous. My Empress, I must say, your reformed administration of the Russian gubernias is genius. And, and uh, your, your equality among citizens, it's, it's inspiring. Oh, did you say something now? I, I was simply complimenting your administration. Um, your cunning and passion are unmatched in your rule. And... Your Highness! I have something for you. <laughs> A message from Admiral Istamine. We've deployed ships in the Black Sea thanks to your leadership. I've been told to make sure you'd like to approve the Women's Academy. Of course. One more thing. Our archaeologists would like to inform you that yet another unknown mine is being executed. Very good. Obviously, both of you. Hello, Catherine. Peter? 